Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is the place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is simple color correction. All right, color correction is nowhere near as difficult as people think. It's not an automatic magic thing, but it just requires a couple of tweaks to get you on the right track. First of all, it's understanding color science. Now, don't be scared of color science. There's actual color wheels inside Adobe Premiere Pro to make that easier for you. And one of the things that, that I learned as a retoucher many, many years ago in advertising when I was using Photoshop is if you've got, got too much red, you don't necessarily remove the red, you add the opposite color. Whatever you have too much of, go to the other side of the color wheel. It's not as complicated as you think. Like I said, we'll use the fast color corrector and it'll help us the whole way. Next is saturation. It's really common to get a cinematic feel uh, these days and make things look very cinematic. One way to do that, remove the saturation. Next, crush the blacks is what they call them. Move the blacks up, bring the highlights up, and get an overall cool ass look. Let's go have a look. All right, so in this look here, we've already got him done. Believe it or not, if I turn this off, that was the original, extremely red, and that's our final version there, which looks much, much better. I wanna show you two quick ways to do this. In this guy here, I've applied fast color corrector, but I'm gonna show you where that is. It's in the effects panel and it's in the color correction, but if you just type the word fast, you'll see there's fast blur, and oh, there's fast color correction. Remember, my clip is selected, so a simple double click takes me there. Now, this is a simple way to balance white if you want. There's a little eyedropper here. If you're lucky to have something over in here that is neutral, that's either gray or white, you can click on this, come over here, and I'll click on the shirt. And I'll click on the hat instead. And you can see if I turn this off and on, it's very subtle, um, but that's one way to do it. In this one, it's a little bit more difficult because like I said, it started out extremely red. So let's twirl down the fast color corrector and I'll click on this button to reset everything. Now this is what I mean by going to the opposite position of the wheel. I'm gonna open this up so we can see. What color is undesirable? Well, let's find that color over here, and that's probably this area in here is the undesirable color. Well, if you just draw a line to the opposite side over here, click and drag this middle point over here, and you can see how it starts to remove the red because we're actually adding the opposite of this, which is a blue cyan color. And let's turn this off and on. That's what it was. That's what it is. Now, the thing that you will fight while you're doing this is something called metamorism, and that's your inability to see colors correctly. We're constantly adjusting color in our brains. If you go sit in a boardroom with fluorescent lights and people have white shirts, and you look at their shirts, everybody will say they're white. They're actually green, but your brain is changing the color. So you'll be fighting with that while you're correcting it. In a later episode, we'll understand scopes and how to work with them. Remember, this is just some simple color correction. So remember, while you're tweaking this, if something doesn't look right, it may be because you need to refresh your eyes. Go look at something neutral. Go have a white piece of paper in front of you. But there we go, that's before and that's after with our better white balance. Not perfect white balance, but much better. The rest of these, I moved down to saturation and then input levels. So saturation right now is 100. I'm gonna click in here and start dragging. And if you're not familiar with these hot buttons in here, I can just put my mouse in here and just start dragging that around. So it started at 100. I'll take that down a little bit. Now I've reduced the contrast. I'm sorry, now I've reduced the saturation. If I want to make the darks, the shadows a little bit more contrasty, drag the input level to the right, and then on the right hand side, drag that to the left. This is no different than doing something like this in Photoshop. This is like the levels control. Maybe I've desaturated this a bit too much. Take this back up whoop, a little bit, and turn this on and off. 
and there it is. Color correction, simple color correction is not that difficult. It really does benefit you by looking at the color wheel and like I said, whatever is the undesirable color, shift things to the opposite side, pull down the saturation a bit, bump up the shadows, brighten the highlights, and before you know it, you've gone from a drab look to something that looks pretty awesome. Well, I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free copy, your free 30-day trial of Adobe Creative Cloud. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.